people to me that seem truly happy, you know, that's the, that's the thing that attracts us to one another is, you know, that joy and how we wear it on our face and that, that brings a comfort, I mean. Julia Roberts flaunts an incredible figure at 56 years of age, thanks to certain foods she avoids. And if you want her radiating smile, you'll want to follow her highly unique brushing rule. Everyone knows you must work out to get in shape physically, but for Julia, the benefits of exercising go beyond simply looking fit. At 56 years of age, Julia Roberts looks as good as ever. She credits her good looks to her holistic health routine. This includes exercises such as walking, swimming, and yoga. She makes sure to get at least one of these things into her daily routine. She also credits much of her body transformation to her trainer, Kathy Kaler. Kathy had Julia on an extensive aerobics routine four times a week. We currently do 20 to 40 minutes of step aerobics and up to 40 minutes of body work, lunges, crunches, planks, push-ups, after. I have been doing this step workout by Kathy Kaler since I did the Pelican Brief. Really? <laughs> but if you ask her, she isn't the biggest fan of exercising. That sounds pretty relatable. However, Julia pushes herself and works out because of the benefits she feels afterward. I don't love exercise, but I do love how I feel afterwards. Accomplishment, clarity, energy, strength, joy. These are all things I give myself through working out, and I can feel it in everything I do. One thing about exercising that people can overlook is the mental health benefits, but it seems as if she is dialed into those. Sleep in or work out? Work out. Yoga or spin? Yoga. But a good workout can be offset by a bad diet. Thankfully, Julia shared the ins and outs of her very practical diet. Diets can be a headache to follow, but Julia's unique outlook on eating allows her to eat her favorite food and still look amazing. For starters, she ensures she is getting plenty of the good stuff. Her diet is rich in fruits, lean proteins, vegetables, and whole grains. One of her big secrets to health is her love for plant-based foods. She incorporates a variety of colorful fruits and vegetables into her diet. These give her an array of vitamins, minerals, and dietary fiber. Another aspect of Julia's diet is her emphasis on lean proteins. Lean protein sources such as poultry, fish, beans, lentils, and low-fat dairy products can leave us feeling strong and healthy. Julia's dietary approach includes a significant amount of whole grains, an excellent source of dietary fiber, and several essential nutrients. Foods like brown rice, oatmeal, and quinoa are excellent options. The best way to keep on top of your diet is to adopt Julia's unique mindset when it comes to eating. I feel like if I knew all the things to do in terms of exercise, I would probably look like I was put together with tape. I would just go crazy. So I think better just to remain calm, drink your water, get your sleep, and be joyful. We definitely try to eat mindfully. As I always say to my kids, you have to eat the good stuff to get the good stuff. I love any excuse to just slow down, yes. be cozy, cook, eat, spread the love. Yeah. That's my jam. One of Julia's favorites is her bread. She loves bread so much that she quickly quit the slow carb diet. This shows you that you can have what you like and still look good if you're eating mindfully. This mindful eating also includes a rather unique breakfast routine. Julia has a wide array of breakfast options which provide her with plenty of energy during the day. She enjoys her homemade granola, seasonal berries, yogurts, carrot, and banana muffins. She also likes papaya with her yogurt. One thing that helps her get her nutritional quota filled is sourdough bread. It's believed that sourdough fermentation leads to significant nutritional and taste benefits. That's a pretty unique way of having your carbs with your fruits and veggies. She also loves her eggs. I love to eat eggs for breakfast. Scrambles. See, fried. this is this is when you say, "Come on, people at home, wake up!" Mm -hmm. and start dozing off. I'm talking about eggs. eggs they find it passive. Over easy sourdough mm -hmm. toast, avocado. For lunch, however, Julia often opts for her favorite dish. She has three special lunch choices to keep her healthy and fit. 
First, her go-to-lunch meal is baked artichoke polenta or spinach phyllo pie with a wheat pilaf. However, if she's in the mood for something slightly tastier, she will go with a salad and grilled chicken. But when she wants to enjoy her life and really eat something she loves, she'll always go with pasta. Julia loves pasta and will often replace grilled chicken with noodles for lunch. She also has a word or two for people who hate on pasta. Lunch would be like, you know, a salad with chicken or mm -hmm. pasta. pasta. Are you shocked that I would yes! eat pasta? Yes, I love that. Why, what's, why is everybody scared of pasta? People are terrified, I why? don't know. People tell me all the time I'm not supposed to eat pasta. Pasta never did love anything it. to you. Um, don't, don't be mean to pasta. Those are words to live by. Another sound piece of advice is her dessert philosophy after her healthy dinner. Life is about balance, and Julia manages to balance health with fun in a unique way. Like her other meals, she has plenty of variety with dinner as well. She often picks ginger-crusted salmon with quinoa and Chinese veggies, or she'll go with sea bass with black bean salsa and asparagus. She also loves wild salmon, brown rice, and more avocado. Seems like Julia loves her seafood. I like to cook a lot of fish. My kids like fish, so fish, rice, salad, kind of tacos. delicious. Um, what's your weakness when it comes to food? Is it pasta? No, it's cookies. Chocolate I love chip. a good cookie. She balances out her healthy eating with her sweet tooth. She has said that there isn't a cookie that she doesn't love. Often, after dinner, she'll have a bite of a chocolate chip cookie, which ends up being the whole thing. But you can enjoy such treats when you adhere to specific do-not-eat foods. Part of a good diet is knowing what not to eat. This has been a crucial part of her incredible transformation. For Julia, she filters her food through her gluten-free diet. I'm mainly gluten-free. I just try to eat well and be conscious. I go for organic. It's kind of a bummer that we live in a country where eating healthy food is a luxury. Gluten is a protein found in wheat, barley, rye, and triticol. She tries her best not to indulge in these types of food, Luckily, her favorite recipe doesn't include any gluten. Do you eat beef? No. Okay. Do you eat regular food, or are yes. you a salad girl? No, I like salad, but salad is something that's come into my food repertoire late in life. Oftentimes, the flavor of a particular dish comes from how creative you are. Thankfully, her creativity shines through in her special salad. Fortunately, I am a hearty eater, which I told my husband 13 years ago when he asked me out on a dinner date, prepare yourself, I won't just have salad. Her favorite salad uses Brussels sprouts cooked in rendered fat with crispy pieces of pancetta, salty pistachios, manchego cheese, and a runny poached egg. The recipe includes two slices of bacon or pancetta, four cups Brussels sprouts, one two tablespoon garlic, one two lemon juice, one tablespoon of parsley, shallot and thyme each, along with one refrigerated egg, a tablespoon of honey Dijon mustard with a bit of salt and pepper. For the dressing, she likes two tablespoons of olive oil, three tablespoons of red wine vinegar, and one tablespoon of vinegar. On top of that, you can add one TBSP of roasted pistachios and three shavings of manchego cheese or parmigiano cheese. Stir it all up and enjoy. Despite eating like Julia, you might not get her radiating smile if you don't follow her quirky brushing habit. Julia's unique habits keep her skin looking amazing and give her her iconic smile. She credits much of her health to staying hydrated. Drinking plenty of water helps maintain the body's fluid balance, supporting digestion, absorption, and transport of nutrients and improving skin health. As for her smile, she relies on baking soda. I brush my teeth with baking soda. My grandfather would put a big, heaping mound of it on his toothbrush. He had only one cavity in his entire life. Meanwhile, her skincare routine follows one important rule. Julia ensures she has a handful of essentials to keep her skin looking fantastic, starting with sunblock. On a regular day, I'll just brush my teeth, wash my face, and apply sunblock. I'm a busy mom, and sometimes I just sunblock my kids and run outside and get my nose burned, so I've made a stronger effort to take care of myself. Besides sunblock, her other essentials can be found at any grocery store. 
Look, I'm happy if I have on moisturizer and chapstick. When you're dressing three people besides yourself, something has to fall away. Moms definitely have to spend their time taking care of others. One rule she has when picking skincare products is to find ones without sulfates, parabens, and other harsh chemicals. But part of the secret is also a bit of nature and nurture. What are your beauty tips? What would you say to somebody, and I'm kind of being serious now, uh, what would you say to somebody about uh, beauty? Um, I would say it's genetics. And I would say it's being around nice people that make you feel good. We love her honesty, 